2016 has gotten louder and louder. It's gotten more cacophonous. It's gotten more furious and more irrational. It is all of that which Donald Trump came to office to sweep clean, like Hercules confronting the stables. The first time around, the reaction was a compact of contempt and ridicule, but that was only because they thought Trump couldn't win. The smartest people in the world, Nancy Pelosi, Bill Kristol, Rachel Maddow, they all knew that Trump couldn't win, so they didn't come together in a single caterwauling primal scream to stop him. This time they have. And since they control almost all the major megaphones, it can sometimes seem that everybody's against Trump and that nobody is for him. Well, it can seem that way, but it, of course, is not that way. And that's chiefly for two reasons. First, there are those 63 million voters, and maybe it'll be 66 or 68 million this time around, voters whose voices you do not hear in the pages of the New York Times, and whose rigged Google searches and Facebook hotspots somehow leave out of account. They're sitting at home and they're watching their cities burn. They're watching their monuments to Columbus, to Washington, Thomas Jefferson be defaced and toppled. And they see that. And they hear a nonstop litany telling them how racist they are and how evil America is. And just about now, a great chasm is opening up. The choice they see is not so much between Donald Trump and Plugs Biden. It's between the America they love that Donald Trump celebrates and the out-of-control forces of anti-American hatred that though he doesn't understand them, Joe Biden manages to blink and nod and gibber around. Everything that is happening between now and November 3rd is about November 3rd. But the fundamental choice not really Donald Trump or Joe Biden, it is civilization and America on one side and anarchy and woke tyranny on the other. The Democrats thought they could ride this tiger to victory. Instead, they're going to be consumed by this monster they created but could not control. Point being, all of this anti-Americanism as illustrated by the destruction of America's greatness, the monuments, the history. His belief is the vast majority of the American people know what no part of this. They don't celebrate this. They don't hate their country. They don't hate, period. And they are sick and tired of having to have this stuff force fed to them on the news and it's going to backfire, is the theory. And that the Democrats are slowly but surely going to become aware of this. That it will be seen in declining poll numbers for plugs. But it's going to be instinctively deduced as well. And it already has been, I think it's why I'm making the point here that you no longer see video news coverage of rioting. You couldn't escape it just weeks ago. Now you can't find it, because they know it isn't helpful. That try as hard as they did, they have failed to convince a majority of Americans that their country sucks and needs to be turned over to people like Black Lives Matter. There just isn't the sentiment for that among the American population. Now, brief break. We will come back. We will continue after this. Okay. The Rush Limbaugh Show app. It's on the cutting edge of digital evolution. We have added push notifications to the app. You'll get a push notification. You tap on that, and bam, you are taken right to the beginning of the program. Download it free at the App Store or Google Play. Then upgrade to Rush 24-7 for full member benefits. You're listening to the EIB Network. News Radio. 610 WIOD. A young lady from the rescue delivered happy, and I panicked. He was missing hair, stinky, scabby, and I thought, what did I get us into? The cause of his issue was poor nutrition. It was neglect. The other owners didn't care enough about him to give him the nutrition he needed. But I have a vet that I trust, and she recommended Dinovite. DIY. 
B-I-T-E.com. I ordered the first 90 day supply and within a couple weeks, his skin started clearing up. He didn't smell. He had more energy. He just had a glow and a bounce about him. We've been using Dynovite for the last year and Happy the Rescue Dog is Happy the Healthy Dog. I tell all my friends who have rescues to give their dog the chance at a new start with Dynovite. You won't believe how happy your dog will be. It's going to pay off for you and your dog for years to come. D I N O B I T E. Are you even listening to me? Your kids may not be listening, but pretty much every voice activated smart device is just tell it to play WIOD on the iHeartRadio app. Help save the planet with this energy saving tip from iHeartRadio Earth. We've all been using a lot more energy at home these days just to keep cool. But did you know air leaks are one of the greatest sources of energy loss? It's true. But by sealing air leaks near windows and doors, you could save 10 to 20% on your energy bills. Brought to you by iHeartRadio Earth and the National Environmental Education Foundation. To find more tips for smarter, sustainable living or to take action in your own community, go to iHeartRadio.com slash earth. The summer savings are on at Miami Lakes Kia. This week at Miami Lakes Kia, lease a 2021 Kia Seltos for just $249 per month. $249 per month. Yes, $249 per month. Buy from home at MiamiLakesKia.com. Homeowners, during these difficult times, many people are struggling, but here's a little bit of good news. Mortgage rates continue to drop and are at near all-time lows. So if your 30-year fixed-rate mortgage is higher than 2.75%, you should call True Mortgage now to see if you qualify for a low-closing cost refi with no lender fees. That's right, no title fees, no escrow fees, and no appraisal fees. So what are you waiting for? Call True Mortgage now to see how much money you'll be able to save each month. But hurry, because as the country begins to reopen, the these low rates won't last much longer. If your 30-year fixed rate mortgage is higher than 2.75%, call True Mortgage now at 800-715-3877. 800-715-3877. That's 800-715-3877. Or visit GetTrueMortgage.com. Sign on the line, Inc. DBA True Mortgage is located at 100 Spectrum Center Drive, Station 520, Irvine, California, 92618. NMLS number MLD 1713. Not all loans apply. Equal housing lender. If you want something, you got to ask for it. Just say something like this. Alexa, play WIOD on iHeartRadio. Just ask your smart speaker for us. Starting up, it's the Stones. I don't think they'll object to being in the bumper rotation at EIB. That work is a great honor. Musical acts. Silent Way proud to be in our bumper rotation. You know, the the, uh, the White House, the Trump administration is really calling it out on Dr. Fauci. They're really dumping on Dr. Fauci. Peter Navarro was just on and he was just, he says that Fauci has been wrong on everything he worked with him on. Peter Navarro, by the way, is imminently trustworthy. And he's, he's, he's saying that, that Fauci hasn't been right about anything they've worked together on. Fauci has not briefed the president in two months and has not been at the White House since June the 2nd. And of course, this not sitting well with the drive-by meeting. You've got to hear this. Normally, I wouldn't play any sound bites from the, from the press briefing, particularly CNN. But I want, you, I want you to hear these two primarily for the second of the two sound bites. Kaylee McEnany gets a question from Jim Acosta, CNN. Why is the White House trashing Dr. Fauci, sending out opposition research memos to reporters? The president's gone off on anonymous sources in the past. Why not have the guts to trash Dr. Fauci with your own name? President Trump, I'll refer you back. There's no opposition research being dumped to reporters. We were asked a very specific question by the Washington Post, and that question was, President Trump uh, noted that Dr. Fauci had made some mistakes, and we provided a direct answer to what was a direct question. As the president made mistakes, he suggested at one point that Americans inject themselves with disinfectants, that sort of thing. Look, I would note that um, in terms of the president and his record on coronavirus, um, he stands by 
by the actions and the steps he's taken in this historic response. You have Dr. Fauci, uh, who said that the record of this president is impressive. I can't imagine that under any circumstance that anybody could be doing more, and those are the words of Dr. Fauci. And now listen, this is Brianna Keeler, who was the InfoBabe anchor at CNN at the time the press briefing's taking place. All right, uh, we're jumping out of the White House briefing here. She repeated the president's total crap claim that when you lead the world in testing, you're going to find more cases. I mean, we can just look right at the statistics here of the 20 worst hit countries in the world. There are 13 who are doing better than the U.S. That is the worst hit countries, okay? America is a coronavirus disaster right now. Yeah, so she repeated the president's total crap claim. That's CNN bumping out of the White House press briefing. Now, Jim Acosta, hasn't the president made mistakes? He suggested at one point that Americans inject themselves with disinfectants. No, he didn't. He has never done that. He never suggested that anybody inject themselves with disinfectants. He asked the doctors after they reported the success rate of disinfectants on killing the virus if maybe a procedure could be developed off of that. He never once urged people to do that. And these people know it. They damn well know it. Uh, King County, Washington, this is Seattle. King County Superior Court judge has approved a petition for an election to recall the Seattle mayor. Jenny Durkin. Seattle Times reports the ruling last Friday on charges filed by a group of five people last month. They want to get rid of her. They want to recall her. The thing is, who are they going to replace her with? I mean, all they have is people like that in Seattle, isn't it? What are you going to do? Go get Bill Gates to fill a job? Some malaria expert? I mean, what, who, seriously? Mr. Sturdley, who are they going to get if they... Re well, boy, well, there's... <laughs> we know there's not a Democrat alive who can solve a problem. So if they recall her, fine and dandy, they recall her. But I don't, I don't know what... Uh, I don't know what advantage it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to give them. Other than making them feel good. I, I, it is fascinating. They want to... That's at least uh, a hopeful sign there. Uh, oh, grab somebody number 14, Dr. Sanjay Gupta. Uh, this is this morning on CNN. I think he wants to stick around. I mean, I think he is uh, he's feeling a little beaten up by all this. I think there's no question about it. And uh, But he is seeing a lot of support. I don't think he wants to go anywhere at this point. He wants to stay on the job. He's been a, l a little bit in a, in a black hole, I think, with regard to this. He has seen some of these attacks come out at the same time that, uh, that, that the rest of us see these attacks come out. You know who that's about, don't you? I didn't tell you on purpose. It's about Dr. Fauci. So here is Dr. Sanjay Gupta. CNN says, Dr. Fauci feels beaten up by the attacks. Dr. Fauci does not know what it is to be attacked, I maintain. Dr. Fauci feels beaten up by being called out. He has been wrong on some things. That's been told. That's been highlighted. He feels beaten up. Try being Donald Trump for a week. President Trump's been beaten up every day for the last four years and this guy's complaining over a couple days of it your news starts now good afternoon seeing the familiar pattern of showers and storms coming in from the west and heading to the east with temperatures in the lower 90s i'm al lewis with coronavirus cases spiking miami's mayor is weighing in we'll hear from him in a moment first let's hear from reno grant the wiod 24-hour traffic center Northbound 95 here, the 836-395, some standing water in the roadway. This report of service of LifeLock, crash already clearing northbound, start by Northwest 41st Street. If you're only monitoring your credit to help protect your identity, you could miss certain threats like your info for sale on the dark web. Good thing there's LifeLock Identity Theft Protection. Get LifeLock now and save more during their summer sale. Go to LifeLock.com. Use promo code RISK-SALE-JULY-20th. Reno Grant, 
News Radio 610 WIOD. Watching 610 Doppler radar showers off to the west of Broward, Miami Dade counties over the Everglades now heading for the populated areas. 94 degrees in Miami Lakes, some rain and plantation and sunrise. 90 there as well. It's 231. The mayor of Miami concerned about the recent spike in COVID-19 cases. We've just crossed the threshold for the highest number of ventilators uh, that we've had in, in the history of, of this virus. And that's also alarming because that's an indicator that our death rate uh, may begin to, to go up. On ABC's Good Morning America, Mayor Francis Suarez says local hospitals are busier and staffs are getting strained. He says ICUs are near capacity but may be expanded. Suarez continues to encourage the use of face masks, hand washing, and social distancing. A new rash of scam calls lately. No surprise to Florida's Chief Financial Officer Jimmy Petronas. Just in 2019 alone, $90 million worth of scams just in Florida alone. He says the scammers are targeting more Floridians through text messaging since the pandemic began. The traditional way they've been making a living off of us and preying on us pre-COVID-19 are, are changing. So now they've just doubled down on the electronic media because our eyeballs are spending more time on our screen. Petrona says the old adage remains the same. If it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. Tomorrow's planned launch of a SpaceX rocket now on hold. Company announcing it's standing down from launching the Falcon 9 because problems in second stage hardware. The rocket is set to carry a communication satellite into orbit for South Korea's military. No new launch date yet. Wall Street uppers sharply higher. Dow up 421 points, 26,496. NASDAQ up 26. S&P up 24. More news at 3 and more rush after we check weather. News Radio 610 WIOD. Seasonal temperatures and a 50% chance of showers, thunderstorms this afternoon, 91. Tonight, a few clouds around 79. Tomorrow, showers and thunderstorms once again, about a 50% chance of rain, 93. And low 90s with scattered storms Wednesday, each day feeling hotter in the mid to upper 90s, but not quite as hot as last week. With updates around the clock on South Florida's Severe Weather Station, on the Weather Channel's Rave Station, on News Radio 610 WIOD. This report is sponsored by LifeLock. If you're only monitoring your credit to help protect your identity, you could miss certain threats, like your info for sale on the dark web. Good thing there's LifeLock Identity Theft Protection. Get LifeLock now and save more during their special summer sale. Go to LifeLock.com. Use promo code RISK. Sale ends July 20th. Stop gambling with your retirement funds. Call my friend Anthony Perry at the Perry Financial Group, 888-755-8887. Ask about investing in fixed annuities. Fixed annuities are financial strategies that are insured by highly rated insurance companies. You could earn a 2% bonus on your deposit and 6% every year to be added into your lifetime income base. Anthony Perry is a CPA and nationally recognized financial expert with impeccable credentials. Perry Financial Group helped me prepare for my retirement. Let them help you too. These are my guys. Call them today, 888-755-8887. That's 888-755-8887. That's what sleeping with a CPAP sounds like. If you can't use CPAP, imagine pressing a button and it sounding like this. That's sleeping with Inspire. No mask, no hose, just sleep. Inspire is a sleep apnea treatment that works inside the body with one click of a remote. That's right, just a button. If you have sleep apnea, great sleep awaits at InspireSleep.com. That's InspireSleep.com. Inspire. Sleep apnea innovation. No mask, no hose, just sleep. Talk to your doctor to see if Inspire is right for you and review important safety information at InspireSleep.com. <laughs> their presents, their gifts that you can share with your family will be talked about fondly for years to come. And one of those is a collection of memories captured in family movies and old pictures that people haven't seen in a long time because the media you need to watch them no longer exists. I'm talking about things like Betamax movies, VHS home movies, Super 8 film, slide projectors, uh, anything like that that you've got in you got a treasure trove of stuff in the attic, boxes of it, but nobody's seen it. Because you can't. But when you transfer and digitize all of those memories on a computer files, well, then you can share it all. You're sharing a great gift for the family. You've got, you've got stuff from Nana, Papa, Great Grandma, Green Papa. You have stuff to aunts and uncles and nieces that people haven't seen in who knows how long. You've got it all. All you have to do is get it digitally transferred to a thumb drive or a downloadable cloud address, and you are a family hero. And there's an outfit that does this called Legacy Box. They make it easy. You get hold of LegacyBox.com. You order a box. They'll ask you how much you got. You tell them. They'll send you a box, appropriate size, shielded and protected, so that nothing gets damaged in transit. Legacy Box team will take a couple of weeks. They will digitally transfer everything you send them, including still photos. 
After that, you get a return shipment. You get all that stuff back, your originals and the digital transfers, with an email that has a link to see your home movies and pictures again from a, from a cloud download. The email link, you can share it, you can duplicate the thumb drive, you can give that stuff away to anybody you want. You can duplicate it, edit it however you want because you have control of it again. We're talking about things you may have not have seen in 20 years or more. Let Legacy Box bring it all back to life. Legacybox.com slash rush. Save 50% off the usual pricing if you act now. Legacybox.com slash rush. Betsy, Cape Cod, it's great to have you with us on the EIB network. Hello. Hi, how are you? Oh, I'm just fine, Betsy. How are things on Cape Cod? Oh, good. Um, Claus, I, live, um, I listen to you every day. I just have uh, two quick comments. One, um, with your comment about Cuomo being extremely conservative about New York City, you got to look at it this way. Now their um, virus percentage is way down versus Trump wanted everybody to open up and now look at um, Florida, where thankfully my ex-husband lives. The um, coronavirus is like 19. Wait, no, wait, 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 wait. Thankfully, your ex-husband lives in Florida. Does this mean you wish him ill? Well, I'm happily remarried. No, I don't wish him. <laughs> I caught you there. I caught you there, Betsy. Why you think you think I would be sidetracked because of your ba you think I bash Cuomo? I didn't bash Cuomo. I, the reason Cuomo's death figures are down to zero is because he's already killed everybody. No, but you the the advantage to Cape Cod because we have so many New York, New Jersey, and um, Connecticut people that have second homes here. Yeah. Um, luckily, we've. Uh, kept it down quasi minimum. Um, I just the only and I I'm an independent. That's the Mikasuki Casino Tower right there on the left side. That big tall tower. That's the biggest casino there is in this area coming down from Homestead. And this is Chrome Avenue and H Street. If you make a right here on H Street, it'll take you straight to Miami, to Calle Ocho. Look that up on online, on Google, Calle Ocho Festival in Miami. They usually do it every year. So the casino's on the left side here, and right here on the right side, behind all these bushes, a little bit more down that way, like a mile. It's a shooting range. And so they're not reporting it under hospitalization. It's not nearly as bad.